Hey Legends, I hope you're all awesome. I've got something pretty interesting on the bench today. This is the new Apt One from Blackstar, which is a unit that can probably solve a lot of problems for people. Essentially, it's a 100 watt pedal board amplifier, but there's more to it than just that. You can use this as just a flat response power amp with something like a modeler. It has built in preamp so you can use it as a pedal platform amp with your pedal board. It's got a cabinet simulator and DI out on it that you can tweak and customize with their architect software. There's built in reverb. The actual reverb can have a hold function on here so you can use it like a freeze effect when you hold down that button. And the thing that I find kind of interesting if I can actually get in here and show you is you've got these different response curves in here based on different tube power amps. So you can actually get non-flat, non-solid state power amp style sounds out of this. That seems to be one of the main selling points on here. On the back, you've got an input, you've got eight and 16 ohm speaker outputs. You've got an effects loop on there. So you just need a TRS breakout cable to use that. You've even got two little pedal power jacks on here if you wanted to run this on your pedal board. There's TRS MIDI in as well and USB-C. So you can use it as an interface, you can hook it up and use the architect software to kind of customize all your tones, save presets, recall them via MIDI, use it as either a backup amp or your main app with your pedal board or an amplifier that's really compact that can go with your compact modeler. There's so much stuff on this, I don't think I'm really gonna scratch the surface on this, but I'll show you a few setups, let's go. Before we dive deep with this unit, I'll just let you hear the basic amp tones out of this. We'll start out on the USA mode with the EQ controls at noon. I'm on the 100 watt mode. We will hear 20 watts and one watt, and then I'll play around with the response control on here. I'll kick in some reverb as well. Neck pickup of my Strat, let's go. Super clean on the USA mode. Let me go back to 100 watt mode, I'll bring the master down and let's go to the UK mode, I'll bring just the gain control down a bit. Let's start out with the EQ. All around noon, I'll turn the reverb back off and maybe let's start off with the EL84 mode for a Voxy style thing. <laughs> Okay, so UK mode has a whole lot more drive going on. I'm gonna kick in a Boss Super Overdrive on top of this so that you can hear it on both the USA and the UK mode. Maybe let's start on the USA mode on the neck pickup. <laughs> Thank you. 
think you really unlock the power of the Amped One when you hook it up to the Blackstar Architect software though. What's nice is, as you can see on the screen capture, if I actually want to tweak any of the settings that are available on the hardware, I can do that using the software editor. And furthermore, I can go in and customize the cab section in here. There is a three-way cab toggle switch for the XLR output, which I'm using at the moment. So I don't have it connected to a cabinet. You're just gonna be hearing the direct output, but I can come in here and choose between a whole bunch of different cabinets over here. At the moment, I've got this one by 12 classic USA Alnico combo, and I can change between different mics and mic positions. At the moment, just the 57 dynamic, I can change the axis that it's on if I wanna do that. Let's just have a listen to this, and I'll actually just kinda of tweak this a little bit. I'll play with the response, I'll play with the reverb, I'll show you how you can dial in the reverb to taste as well using the editor um, on the neck and middle pickup of my Strat. And then I'm gonna kick in a Crowther hotcake on top of all of this this time. <laughs> Okay, so I could dial in the amp, I could dial in the mic and the cabinet. Furthermore, I've got this room simulation in here. You know, I could go for a larger room and bring that level up if I wanted to. That combination of the hotcake and that UK style amp is pretty awesome on there. Furthermore, there is this master console style EQ in here. You've got EQ presets, which you can bring in there for each of the different microphone selections or for, you know, cab in the room, focus, bass boost. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. I really like that there's presets in there. So you're not having to start from flat all the time. Furthermore, there's a global low cut and high cut, which I really like for direct tones. Let's maybe hear a different cab on here. I've got this like greenback, I'm guessing it's a greenback style thing in here with a small room. And again, the low cut and high cut I've just set, I think to 80 Hertz and 8K on all of this. So I really like the M160 ribbon mic on just about anything in here as well. <laughs> just set this up to disable the built-in cabs if you wanted to use an external IR loader. Again, that's a kind of nice feature on there. But as you can hear, the cabinet selection is very, very important. And I would probably set this up with, say, an option 
to go with the clean voicing, one to go with this UK voicing, and then I might have one set up with a linear voicing, or I might just copy, say, my second setting with the UK voicing and copy it over to a separate slot on here, the third slot, and I might add more or less room or have a different EQ preset on there, you know, to deal with a different band style situation. So you've got that. If you go to the settings over here, you can get into some of the global settings for your audio. So this is a USB-C audio interface and you can dial in the reverb in here as well as the effects loop placement, whether the effects loop is series or parallel. You can set the MIDI channel on here. You can control all of the settings on here with MIDI, which is pretty awesome. But let's say I wanted a room style reverb and I wanted way more time on here and I wanted the tone at maximum. Pretty easy to do. <laughs> application for this instead of using it as a pedal platform is to use the flat response on here and use it with a preamp. I'm using my Synergy Ubershall module and I might start by flattening all this out. I like that if you right click you can set it to the center value. Very very handy, gets around some fiddly stuff on there. I'm still running direct so this whole power section doesn't make any difference on here but the response section is going to make a difference along with the different cabinets. So let's go in here and let's just set up a basic 57 on, I don't know, one of these. Let's go the modern UK cabinet in there. I'm going to turn the room simulation off. I've still got the high and the low cut in there. And I can just basically use this as a power amp and cabinet simulator with my Synergy preamp. <laughs> I'm going to guess that most of the people who watch my channel who would be interested in the Amped One are going to be using it with a modeling device of some sort. So I'll show you how I would set it up with my Fractal Audio FM3. If you take a look at the grid on the FM3, I'm going input one to an amp and then I'm running a row across to a cabinet in the FM3 and output number one. So I would just use the built-in cabinet modeling out of output one to front of house on the fractal, but before I go to the cabinet, I'm splitting to output two on the FM3, which is coming down to the amped one. I am using the flat voicing on here, which essentially just converts the gain control into an input sensitivity. Turning it up or down is simply just gonna change the input level without changing the character. And then I've got the linear response for the power amp. So it's gonna convert it into a flat response power amp, which I can then run to my cabinet. I've got the Brit 800 at stock settings on the FM3, and I'll just let you hear it. For my liking, I would just use the 100 watt mode on all of this for maximum headroom and just use the master volume to bring it up to the desired level. You can also use the bass, middle, and treble controls on the amp one to kind of quickly and roughly tune the response of your cabinet. You might like more or less bass or treble or something like that. So I'll give you a very quick example. <laughs> What 
is interesting though, is if you wanted to say disable the power amp modeling in the fractal, you could do that and then use one of the different response curves on the amp one. I'll let you just hear a couple of basic ACDC style chords with the fractal power amp modeling on, then I'll turn it off and switch over to one of the different response curves on here. <laughs> KT88 response curve on here. I'm going to switch over to a Boogie Mark 4. I'll let you hear it with the linear response. And then again, I'll turn the power amp modeling off and go over to that KT88 response curve just for something a little bit different. <laughs> Now, of course, use whatever sounds best, but if I was going to be running this, I would leave the power amp modeling on and I would just use the linear response in there in that hybrid DI cab setup. If you were solely running into a cabinet, though, you could play around with turning the power amp simulation in the FM3 off, then using one of those different response curves it becomes one of these mix and match situations that we love as guitar players, where essentially you're just using the FM3 for your effects and as a preamp, and then you've got a bunch of different fun power amps to choose from at the twist of a button. Thanks so much for checking out the video and a shout out to CMI Music for letting me try this unit on alone. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you were gonna use something like this, let me know what sort of rig you would be using it with. If you wanna support what I do here on the channel, there's some links in the video description that you can follow to do just that. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Cheers.